the TSA is tracking American citizens on flights without their knowing it. Even if they've not been suspected of any crime or any under, invest if they're under investigation at all. The Boston Globe reporting that this previously undisclosed program known as Quiet Skies. What the heck? Well, the program is now generating significant criticism from within the TSA. Here with us to discuss is Boston Globe reporter Jonna Winter, who broke this story. And we're also rejoined by former Inspector General for the Intelligence Community during the Obama years, uh, Chuck McCullough. Uh, this is a wild it was a wild thing. First of all, Jonna, great story on this. Incredible Thanks. reporting. Quiet skies. It sounds so placid and lovely, but what what is this deal? Because it seems to me that none of us know about it. I've never heard Congress talk about it. Is it does it work and how could we be tracked? Well, here's what we know. We know that thousands of ordinary Americans who are suspected of no crime and who aren't on any watch list are being followed by teams of armed undercover air marshals on domestic flights throughout the United States. When we reported this story on Sunday, there's been a bit of outrage, I suppose, um, and at least four committees on the Hill have demanded answers from TSA. So TSA will be briefing four committees at least later this week. Right, you did great reporting, enough to get everybody's attention. Big piece that just came out an hour ago, I know you saw it because it's your piece. Lawmakers demand answers on Quiet Skies surveillance program after the Globe report. So these congressmen are going nuts about this now, as they should. By the way, here's the behavior checklist, Chuck, because I read this checklist and I'm like, I just flew this morning to New York. I kind of, I experienced all of these things, or at least observed them. Excessive fidgeting, <laughs> strong body oh, odor, cold penetrating stare. That's the lady who wouldn't help with the overhead. Wide open staring eyes, exaggerated emotions, and facial flushing. That's just to name a few. What is this? Chuck, go ahead. Well, Tell look, us why this is smart. We've been running around for years telling people if you see something, say something. Body and, or smell uh, something, apparently. And, or, or if you smell something or if somebody's got to stare. Look, those, those uh, items came from some study somewhere that the government, I'm sure, paid dearly for. But uh, I'm, I'm glad that the TSA is doing this. They should keep on. This is why we pay the air marshals. Uh, but we've been telling people to do this for regular citizens. If you see something, say something. And yet uh, we have uh, 1811 uh, law enforcement officers who are on the plane that we're, we're going. They're not following people home. Uh, it, as long as there are. But what are they doing? This is what I want to know. Are they there, keeping a database of people's names, uh, observations about them? If these people have done nothing wrong, if they're American citizens and have done this nothing wrong except have somebody reports. darts into a restroom and changes two, three, four times uh, in the airport. Well, maybe it's an adult yeah, diaper. I, Maybe well, they have I'd, I'd, like, I'd like somebody to note that. Maybe you're cold on a plane. Okay, well, it's irregular, and somebody should note that somewhere. If they don't note it and something happens, then guess what happens? Hey, they get blamed for it. Chuck, I first, think, can this I is say a no-win yeah, proposition. Go ahead, Chuck is really smart, I but think I, it's I'm surprised I disagree that. with him. Go ahead, Jonna. The reason why this story is out and the reason why I knew anything about this to begin with is because the air marshals who are literally working these flights have said this is not the best use of taxpayer money. And this is leaving us vulnerable as a country and on aircraft because we are diverting our resources to follow people who are not suspected of anything. Yeah, well, they, if this was started in 2010, everyone should know. So this has been going on for eight well, years. And I hope the Inspector General of Homeland Security, if we even have one, do we have one, by the way, Chuck? I think there's an acting over there right now. Oh, there's now. an acting. It was John Roth, okay. yeah. All right, well, They've I hope John gets, gets to examine whether this is... Maybe it works. Maybe it doesn't well, violate Fourth Amendment God, concerns. There, there are this going has only to be been happening individual since March. cases of misconduct. Teams. But if they have guidelines and guidelines can be enforced, you're going to have problems case by case. Yeah. But this is, we've been telling people for years, if you see something, say something. Yeah, but that's people. That's not this the government. Not that. We have a constitution. Well, we the don't people want the government to anything. say something if they see something. Well, I would no, but think we would want the this, law enforcement officers to say something. talking about databases. Go ahead, John. I mean, one... This is not see something, say something. These are trained law enforcement officers who take it very seriously to become whistleblowers. This is not, as you know, this is not a you know decision made lightly to come forward about this program. They truly feel like 
we are putting the country um, at risk by following people when there's no reason to be doing so and collecting vast minute by minute information about what they're doing from the moment they're spotted and identified by the gate at their departure airport up to taking note of the license plate of the vehicle that picks them up in the arrival city. Everyone I, they talk yeah. to, every type of phone, every phone conversation, are they on a computer? Are they sleeping? This is a lot more than see something, say something. It's just not that. This is above and beyond, and these are ordinary Americans. Well, who are I'm glad they're of doing nothing. it, and I hope they keep on doing it because that's what we pay them to do. If I if don't they pay them, to, board, I don't, John, I mean, uh, if the Chuck, government does. Chuck, I don't pay them to be be keeping well, uh, tabs on on you know grandma who happens to have facial flushing and we, face we touching. There are real grandma. threats, we, and we, the air marshals would we're like to cover for those. Irregularities which is, I'm sure that list yeah. came from somewhere. You can enforce <laughs> controls on Wait a things. second, wait a second. <laughs> That's not the best defense. Um, hey, okay, wait a second, wait a second. Chuck, you as Inspector General of the Intel community saw all this irregularity with big government. You saw irregularity and frankly, sure. stuff that was happening that could have, na have hurt national security. So you saw people with good intentions go totally awry, correct? But that this is different. These we're not leaving the airport. My understanding is these are people in planes and in the airport who are doing things like ducking into a bathroom and changing three yeah. or four times in a very short period of time. That's weird, and and that's irregular behavior. That, that's not what this program is doing, though. Respectfully. Well, well guys, my understanding. Um, guys, of, of let me just say is. one of the other things on the checklist. This, by the way, TSA has a 800 million dollar budget. That's all I'll say. Gripping. But there's only, there's less than 3,000 flying air marshals. There's more than 40,000 domestic flights a day. If no, you are not. choosing to follow the people who are not suspected of any crime and who are not on no, any also, terror Also, no one wants list. to be profiled. I mean, we don't want to do what Israel does because that, that offends people. Maybe that's kind of why we're well, doing we this stuff. we don't have enough people to be doing that. This is what right. the air marshals are saying. Well, this we has been going on for eight years, taken right? Taken off all, flights all where of there's sudden, threats. Guys, you guys, you come on. Program. I want to add another piece of data here, okay? Because we're going to get more answers on this, I hope, this week. And that's because Jonna did the reporting. And I'm, I'm, I'm happy we're having this conversation. Maybe some good can come of this, but right now it makes my antenna go up. One, okay, here are some of the other things. Rapid eye blinking, Adam, Adam's apple jump, I guess that's when you swallow, and then gripping or white knuckling bags. I white knuckled my bags in Minnesota today because, because I was, a, I mean, some of these things really are Perhaps kind of ridiculous. Perhaps someone noticed. Yeah, I mean, maybe I'm, if, maybe if I'm being the, observed. If that's the comprehensive list, okay. But my guess is those are a few items out of a very a much larger list. Okay. So, you know, I would want context on that. Okay. And, you know? uh, John, okay, I can give you that context. <laughs> John, John, keep on this story. We, we got to keep reporting on this story. Thank you for being with us. Well, you're going to pull those pistols and whistle Dixie.